Hello everyone. So today we are going to show, uh, we are going to see how to implement survival items. For example, here we have a store. When we go near that, we get pressy to collect a store. So unlike before, we can directly collect it and it will be collected into the inventory. So, and if I go here, press C to collect health pack, it will be collected into the inventory. And here, this is an artifact. When I press C, we have already implemented this before. So we get this additional uh, stage where we can rotate this object. If either we can put it back with E or we can collect it to the inventory with F. Similarly, this is just a cube, but this is also an artifact. Let's collect that too. And if I press I now, uh, if I open the inventory, we can see as the survival items, this rock and this health pack. If I select artifacts, I can see these artifacts. When I select each of these, I can see the description of each item. Uh, right, so let's see how to do this today. And this episode is sponsored by this generous patron. Thank you very much for your support. Right, so at the moment we have this artifact uh, uh, pickup system where we can pick up certain items, so some artifacts, let's say. We can use R to rotate or E to leave it back or F to collect. So when we collect it, it appears in our inventory so this should technically appear when we in under the artifacts category so under survival category we should only see the stuff related to survival stuff like health packs or consumable items like foods or rocks that we can throw things like that so that's what i'm going to implement today and so for the survival items, we don't actually need to inspect them. Once we go near them and press E, it should automatically get collected. Right. So first, let's create the survival items. I will do that by extending from the interactable object. So how uh, what should we call it let's call it uh, SRV health pack SRV stands for survival because this is going to be a survival item right now uh, to make it easy identifiable let's make it like a green box so at the moment this it's blue let me create a material instance m color free change the color to green Okay, and it's a cylinder. This should be a box. Okay, and now let's have another stand. And here I'll place the health pack. So just like other items, when I go near that, I will get the usual notification and when I pick it we will get this one so instead of that what should happen is uh, the character should directly collect it without getting any other notifications okay so first to override that what we can do is let me open the health pack blueprint and also open the interactable uh, blueprint as well so here when i start interaction this is what happens so here what happens is when i first 
call the start interaction through the interface it picks the character picks up the object that means this part let me open the character blueprint as well so it would be you can fresh up your memory uh, right and if you press e again what it does is uh, so first time when we press interact key it takes the object and if we press e again it leaves the object because we set this interacting parameter to true here uh, right so uh, the first we need to change this notification here what we show is press e to interact to inspect not interact to inspect so let's promote these two uh, function so that we can override it in a child child blueprint collapse to function show tip or oh, pop up yeah tip should be fine right and I'm gonna copy this now in the help pack we can override shorty and paste so here uh, I'm gonna change this press interact key to instead of inspect Collect. Now, when I go near that, I get press E to collect. But still, the action is same. It doesn't actually collect. It interacts. It inspects. So now let's override the inspecting function. That means the start interaction event. We need to override that so we can actually do it here uh, let me copy this part as well so we can remove the things that we don't need We can copy the whole thing yeah right now actually we here we don't need to check whether we are still uh, already interacting or anything because we only need to pick up the item so we don't need the leave object part as well and also definitely we don't need to reset because this item can be picked up only once that's the logic I have at the moment so here and this pickup should be faster so I'll increase the player rate to 2 And here we don't need after this montage is completed we can just uh, we don't really need this part we can just stop it and yeah we don't need to definitely show this part because uh, we just collect it and that's it so Right, shall we check? Okay, now that object is in the hand of the character. So now what we can do is uh, we need to collect that object without having any other inputs. Uh, the object should be directly added to the inventory. Mm. In the character we have 
an inventory component let me open the blueprint where is it here we have items sorry right now let's see how did we implement the uh, implement the collect event here so actually what we did is we get a reference to the inventory and then we added um, inventory item to that array and destroyed this object so okay do we have to have a way to access the inventory oh yeah we have git inventory okay so now in the health pack what we can do is uh, just like here just like in collect we can from the interact in character we can get inventory like this uh, let me connect it this way then from this F First, we need to check if we have a valid inventory otherwise we can have some problems get uh, items and add oh wait no this approach is not suitable for this situation because these stuff like health packs we, they should stack for uh, that means like if I already have a health pack in the inventory it should become two with a counter right so in the inventory let me delete this in the BP inventory we don't have interface um, but we have a character interface so here let's add a function add or oh, collect so as the input we should get um, what's the type inventory item Subtract inventory item okay oh wait a minute if we define it here also that to take several multiple steps to add an item to the inventory so let's add let me remove this in the inventory itself let's add a function add Item. right and for now I'll just get the items and add here without doing any special things and in the BP interactable I'll call add item As the item I will give inventory item reference. Okay, and for the health pack as well, we can call get inventory and add item. We can give the item uh, like this and set lifespan of this object to something like 0.1 seconds right. 
right uh, one more thing in the health pack now we need to update this inventory item so name should be health pack can be used to restore health image mm -hmm. yeah, I quickly created this icon in Photoshop and let's let me add it to where yeah. Here, yeah, select this one. Right. Now, if I go here and press E, this should be automatically collected. See? It's there in the inventory. And if I go here and collect this one, so we still no, still we get this uh, inspection mode for this object and we can collect that as well mm, right now if i press e you can see all three items are there so we need to have some kind of a differentiation uh, only if i select survival objects i should only see this health pack if i select the artifacts i should see these uh, artifacts Ooh. okay mm, now how do we do that differentiation mm -hmm. okay now let's go to this inventory item structure and here Let's add a new variable called type. Uh, actually, let's call it item type. So this should be uh, mm -hmm. at the moment I only have survival and artifacts, but maybe later on if the design changes. We could have some other types as well. So to support for them also let's define an enumeration item types. First one artifact. Second one survival okay now here I'll change this to item type by default it would be an artifact but here the health pack I'll change it to Why am I not getting it? Right, artifact. Right. Here. Survival. Okay. Now, let me open the inventory UI. Here. Uh, when we initialize the items by default I'm gonna show survival item so let's add a custom event promote this part to a custom event show items and here we need to as an input 
let's give the item type so by default it would be artifacts let me break this here and then we get this uh, for each item in the item array here we can get item oh no we can break this and check if this item type is equal to the item type that we need to show if that is true we can show this item right now in the init items i'll give show items and as the item type i'll use artifacts so now, now before testing let's do the other part as well they are Get test. Oh, by default, I need to show the survival items, not the artifacts. Right now, let me collect this one. F to collect. okay both are collected but here i only see the health pack if i select it health pack can be used to restore health okay so now let's go to the widget and here let's add events on click events to these buttons wait dnsrv on click i'll Call oh, oh, right. clear items should also be a part of this event. Right. So on click BTN SRV, I'm gonna call show items. So SRV, this is the survival item. Uh, I need to show the survival elements. And for the BTN artifacts, on clicked, I need to show the artifact type elements, type items. Okay. Now I have collected the health pack and also I collected, let's collect this uh, cube and cylinder. Right, now if I go here, it only shows the health pack. If I press artifact, I can see both um, the cylinder bracelet and the cube oh it is not cleared right that means we have a problem that we need to fix mm -hmm. right it seems for some reason this uh, items grid uh, get all children function not working consistently so I will add this one to a array. This is let me promote this to a variable. Let's name it item widgets. Oh, 
let's break this one and convert this to an array item widgets and all of them should be removed from the parent after that this item widgets array should be cleared okay let's try this Click this item. This one. Collect. Collect. Right. Now we have several items. It shows up properly. Artifacts also shows properly. Survival. Right. Now we it shows without any issue. Great. All right. So the next, uh, let's add another type of a consumable resource. And I already have this rock texture. So let's create a rock on the interactables. Yes, uh, we can create a child blueprint from this health pack let's call it srv rock oh actually not rock stone so we can use stones to like throw at enemies so distract enemies reasons like that mm, we don't really have a rock mesh so I change this to different color right I guess that's good enough and here I'll change the name to store can be used to describe enemies as the icon I'll assign the rock icon type survival right now I'll add it let's add another stage the rock here so okay uh, let me add another instance of a health pack because I want to show that this is not going to stack up okay rock is collected oh wait instead of showing press e to collect it would be better if we show press e to collect health pack press e to collect R store if we do it like that i think it would be better so here in the health pack oh, oh. 
where is the function show tip to collect here let's add the object name we can get the object name from item get inventory item split the name and we can actually do the same thing for these other interactable items as well and uh, show tip hit the inventory item split connect the name right press e to collect the stone Press E to collect help back. Press E to inspect bracelet. F to collect. Press E to inspect cube. F to collect. Right. Now if I go to the inventory under survival, actually uh, it would be better if the survival part is highlighted. So anyway, we can see the survival items now. And if I press artifacts, we can see the artifacts. So let me go back. If I collect another health pack and go to the inventory, now we will see uh, two health packs. So I need it to stack. That means if I collect two items in the same object type, here we need to show a counter like two instead of showing it as two elements but i will do that part in the next episode um before finishing let's see if we can highlight the selected item category yeah i think in this button we can change the background color like this so we can see what is actually selected mm -hmm. how do we do it oh wait we shouldn't do it here we should do it in through the code show items we can get the two buttons VTN salary and VTN artifacts. Then let me press this highlight category. Select one of the buttons, set background color. can select the button based on this category or type if it is survival btns rv if it is artifacts btn artifacts and if i have already selected the other button I have to reset that too. So yeah. 
keep right. right now if I go to I survival is highlighted if I press artifact artifacts will be highlighted journal is not implemented yet so I'm gonna leave it like that right uh, yeah let me show the final demonstration collect a stone collect a health pack collect the bracelet we can inspect and collect right um, okay now survival is highlighted we can see the survival items if i go to artifact artifacts are highlighted okay so i'm gonna stop this episode right here and as always project files will be available for the download through patreon page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patreon club in the next time i will uh, look into how to stack uh, same type of inventory items so that if i collect two health packs instead of showing two health pack icons in the inventory it will show um, one health pack with with number two as the count okay and thanks for watching see you in another episode goodbye